Sophia sitting on the banks of River Salza in Salzburg. Well, I have some company here from the past. At one time, I spent so much time just simply staring at the water and its endless number of forms that it takes. In all these forms that it takes, and even in still water, like a glass of water, I always noticed that maybe today I am calling them molecules, but I always saw the water particles changing shape and form and taking on many different dynamics, <laughs> which uh, people thought was crazy. But here at Salzburg, I have some company. There was Victor Schalberger in early twentieth century, who uh, spent a lot of time watching many aspects of nature, in that water being one important aspect. And uh, he spoke about it elaborately, out of which many designs were made as to how water behaves when it's moving. For a superficial observer, it's just moving, that's all, if you pay enough attention. Well, <laughs> we are doing what's called a samyama, which is absolute attention. If you pay that kind of attention, not only the form and the energy that the water exudes, the aliveness of the water and the molecular dynamics of the water which is continuously changing, depending upon which the water behaves differently in different lives, differently in different human beings, how you treat it, seventy-two percent of your body being water. How you treat it, how you perceive it is extremely important. This is the land of Victor Salberger. Unfortunately, he was uh, <laughs> a bit too uh, ahead of his times. When uh, the German occupation happened, the Nazis saw him as a crazy person or an insane person and they wanted to put him in a insane asylum. Fortunately, his friends got him out of it and uh, he died penniless in 1958, just a year after I was born. And uh, here we are because my own observations of water created many things. One thing that really resonates for me is when I watched river water flowing, I saw many, many sizes and shapes of ellipsoids forming and unforming themselves and how they were exuding energy. In many ways, these ellipsoids have ruled my life. <laughs> very difficult to explain without being termed crazy. This is the whole problem. Those who are stuck in the structures of logic, any deeper delving into creation looks crazy to them. After a thousand years, they come to the same things. But here we are. I would like to honor Victor Salberger for his observations. Unfortunately, his troubles of the day for everything that he went through. But today, at least a, a small segment of people are recognizing the significance of his observations, the profoundness of his observations. That's why I said many things are recognized a thousand years after it is done. This is the unfortunate situation, at least in future, we must create situations where new things are welcomed. It doesn't matter how crazy it looks. This doesn't mean everybody can come up with a crazy theory of their own, but everybody should pay attention. If we had paid attention, enough attention. Did I have to do this safe soil movement? Everybody would definitely know that soil is a super-living entity. Something that's alive, something that's throwing life out with such exuberance, we can even conclude that it is inert. 
this shows how we are trapped in the structures of our own logic. Pay attention and be alive to the soil because without soil being alive to you, you would not be alive. Save soil. Let's make it happen.